Welcome back to Tom Padula TV and to the second segment of Program 1 of Australia Day Celebration Week 2017 and Australia One Family. Enjoy the segment. But a few months later, he knocked on the door quite, you know, violently and Nella was there and I wasn't there. And the day before, I just bought another painting from him and he abused. Now, I, I, when I got there, I said, Turbo, what are you doing? But obviously, he was under the effect of something. But I said, he said, well, I want my painting back. I said, I paid you yesterday. Now you want your painting back. OK, I'll give it back to you. Give me the 50 bucks. No, I'll give it to you tomorrow. No, you give it to me now. Otherwise, I won't give you the painting back. And that's where we stopped. But, that incident there, I raised my voice to him only once, only that once, and people around the piazza heard me. And I felt sorry that I had done that, but it was needed to be done. And Turbo continued to stay around, he continued to perform, he continued to sell his paintings, but I, I didn't buy any more of him uh, on purpose. And other people then took on what I had been trying to do because at one stage I even bought some canvas for him and I explained, look, don't always do the crows, you know, the, uh, the paintings of the birds, we're out about other, other animals and I tried to enrich the vision, uh, his vision for Australia because it's not just one thing, as an artist you want to perfect things, I understand, but always the same painting. So you need different things. That's what I was trying to do with Turbo. So why am I telling this story today? Because it is Australia Day. Because Turbo's gone. Because Nella's not there. Because Tres so closed. New chapter, new beginning. Here today at Glenroy Secondary College Performing Arts Centre, we're starting this chapter. And I do hope that Australia becomes a family. It doesn't matter whether you have been here 60,000 years or came yesterday, you are here, you're part of this great whole. Let's celebrate Australia Day. Let's celebrate the invasion. Let's celebrate the past with all its warts and all. Let's enjoy the present, but Let's look at the future, because that future is ours. This is the Australian family. Happy Australia Day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ask Angela and Dora, who have been with me for a long time, to play Advanced Australia Fair. Let's have it. That's it. Thank you very much for that. We continue the journey of this program today. We have amongst us a very important person who has been in politics for a very long time. He occupied some of the 
important seats in government and in opposition. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite here Calvin Thompson, who always attends my functions, big or small, is always there. Thank you. Come. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Calvin. Uh, look, I invited you today, even though there are many people today. It's a first for me, and I want to thank you for coming. And I know you have a a great um, a great understanding of this land, and I want to hear what you say today for Australia Day 2017. Thank you. Okay. Thank. Thanks, Tom. And I'm. I'm very pleased to be here this afternoon on a, a warm summer, quintessentially Australian afternoon. I think that's, that's part of the feature of the Australian landscape, that we're, we're a hot continent and on a day like today that, uh, that brings it home to you. And I, I want to congratulate you, Tom, on what you're uh, seeking to do here at the Glenroy Secondary College uh, Performing Arts area. It is, it is a magnificent venue. and it, uh, uh, it's terrific to see you putting on uh, events which seek to do justice to it. Uh, I make no apologies um, for my emotional state on Australia Day 2017. Uh, the loss of uh, Nella and uh, also Turbo uh, was a bit too much, but really uh, what this shows is that only the future is ours. The past is what it is. Good and bad, we have to accept it and move forward. Stay tuned for the next segment.